In this short video, we'll show you how to import the centrifugal pump from the Sumerian Asset Library. Let's get started. All right, so I've already created a few things in my scene. I have a floor, I have a room, and then I have this sign to add some branding. So that's what I have already in my scene. Next, I need to add the main subject of this, of this course, which is going to be the centrifugal pump. Up here above the canvas, import assets, I will click this, and this will open a bunch. I already have a search going here. This will add a bunch of entities we can add. We are not gonna be covering hosts in this particular course, but in this course, we're gonna be using the centrifugal pump PBR. To learn more about PBR also and what PBR is versus a classic shader, there is also a lot of uh, tutorials and documentation on what that is. In short, PBR materials just sometimes look a lot nicer or have the ability to look a lot nicer. And so that's one reason why we wanted to use a PBR shader is because it looks very realistic. Uh, so let's look at how to add it. So we've already added the scene, we've already added the centrifugal pump to our scene. It appears down here in the assets panel under the centrifugal pump asset pack. Right now I am filtered down to see just materials. If I toggle all my materials, there are a bunch of files and a bunch of raw files that make up this entire model. But I just need the entity. The entity is really the encompassing model that brings them all together. So if I filter down to the entity using the entities button, it's just this hexagon icon. And once I do that, I only have one. And this is the way it's gonna really work for most models. I just drag that entity over onto my scene and my centrifugal pump will appear in the middle of my scene, the middle of my floor. And there it is. So I can zoom around it, I can rotate around it. Pretty cool looking pump. We actually created this pump specifically for this course. Now, what's important about this is that a lot of models that you might find, the, the mesh itself is all one piece. It's one large model. But what's neat about this one is that if you go to, go to the entities panel and you unnest or you expand the centrifugal pump PBR.FBX model, you'll see a number of other entities that make up the entire model. So if I select casing, for example, and I move it out of the way, I can move all these entities separately, which is important for this, for this particular course is because that's what we're gonna be looking at. How do you use a model and um, create some behaviors to investigate and learn more about different parts of this particular pump? So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna undo all those changes. I'm gonna undo those changes and just turn alter all these values back to zero. That's it for this video. I hope you join us in our next video where we will be getting an introduction to the state machine and how to create behaviors. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments of this video. If you haven't already, please join also our Sumerian community on Slack at slack.sumerian.world.